CFM with gas heat is relatively easy to do. You can get CFM with gas heat if you know the output BTUs of the gas furnace and the temperature rise across the return and the supply. Now, in order to be able to get BTU output, there's a few things you can do. You can use a combustion analyzer and get the output of the, um, the furnace. That's probably the, the most accurate way. And uh, you can also do clocking the meter where you're, you're actually counting the meter dials and uh, finding out how many BTUs are going in and, and working it from there. The other way that's uh, less accurate but still doable out there in the field would be taking the efficiency of the furnace in the BTU input. And um, as long as you have the, uh, the gas pressure set properly, you're, you're going to get close. It's going to get you somewhere close. So taking the 75,000 BTU input of a furnace, if it was an 80% efficient furnace, 75,000 times your 80% gives you 60,000 BTUs of output. You can use that, but again, make sure your gas pressure is set up right and everything's uh, operating properly on your furnace, and you're going to get close. Not, not completely accurate. So with that, we'll take that 75,000 BTU input, 80% furnace, with a 60,000 BTU output. Plug in the 60,000 BTU output. The next thing we're going to do is take the temperature rise across the return and supply. Uh, get as close to the return as you possibly can. Eliminates any uh, confusion with any duct leakage. Do the same thing on the supply side of the uh, furnace. Uh, and you're going to take that temperature rise. You let it run for a while, get a good accurate reading. And in this particular case, you might end up with, I don't know, let's say 40, uh, 47 degrees of temperature rise. With a 47 degree temperature rise, 60,000 BTU output, you'll see that you have 1182, 1182 CFM on this particular unit. If you are trying to get cooling CFM, you will need to identify the, uh, the high speed for your cooling or the medium high, whichever you're using for your cooling, and swap the heating and the cooling speeds so you're actually running the heater on the higher speed, on the cooling speed, and you can then judge how much CFM you're getting with that uh, particular speed. So, hope this helps.